Well, tone clusters, like some other plays of mine, began in another form. It was a poem. It was a poem with two voices. And basically it was two monologues, and this husband and wife. And then I, as I worked on it, I thought it would be better as an actual play rather than a poem. And that's happened a number of times. Some of my poems that are monologue poems just become plays. And then as I worked on it, each little scene is bringing us closer to the revelation that the parents don't want. And the interviewer is pushing, 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 sometimes in an outrageous way. But he's sort of doing what the viewer wants to hear. It's like a typical television interview where these people are in the spotlight. In fact, I wrote this, of course, before reality television. <laughs> but it's so remarkable. awful. You know, it's just people who are there, and, yes. and they always think that they can present their point of view and point it out to the world, but that's not going to happen because they are the fodder for the program, and the interviewer is going to use them to entertain, basically. So these two con conflicts, this attention is the parents who are devastated and they can't confront the awful reality of their lives. So they think that they, by talking and giving their interview and, and smiling and doing the things that people do, they think they can win over some invisible audience and maybe they can even affect reality. Yeah. But the interviewer who, is the, who controls everything, or the director, let's say, the director is using them almost like pawns. Yeah. It's one thing that he's doing that day. The next day there may be another couple or another, a woman who's being interviewed. Or she's been raped, you know, or something. Or a child who's been molested. So each day there is these, these people who are victims who think that they can get out of their victimness. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen productions that are just exciting and brilliant with all the the audiovisual stuff, you know, yeah. things that are flashing and that, and that becomes a real show, mm -hmm. you know, that the director has provided this. And so it's basically an opportunity to put on a multi-media sort of event. Or it could just be two people, you know, you could, it's up to the director how many how much you want to do and using music and things like that. So when I said before that I consider it, I'm providing material and then an imaginative director with actors can just do virtually anything. 